Hello again, I'm John Terzak, and today I'm going to answer the question for you, which is how to make a family-style composition salad that you could use as a somewhat of a mini buffet. We're going to put it on this white plate right here. And I'm going to see if we can squeeze about 15 ingredients on this. But the word composition, of course, means placed or in position, and it has a connotation of art to some degree, and I certainly don't consider this to be a work of art. This is a good, basic way in which you can construct a salad that people love to look at and pick through and eat from, okay? We're going to start with putting a little bit of lettuce down the middle of this plate, because lettuce, in this particular case of this salad, is not the primary component. Crush that lettuce off a little bit. And we're going to put some sliced tomato on here. It's going to take me about seven, eight, nine minutes to put this salad together. Something like that. Have a little bit of pre work done, but not much. I think one tomato will do it for this entire salad. If you have a bigger platter, this, this whole style that I'm uh, exposing you to here can be made on a gigantic salad, a t salad the size of this table. Okay, so there's some tomato and some lettuce. Now, Got to have a little bit of cucumber on there. There's some cucumber here that I striped. And let's do Trying to put these things on in the smallest way that I can so I can get as many different ingredients on the salad as possible. I think that might be enough cucumber. This is about the size of the kind of family style plate that you might have at your house. Oh, let's put some mushrooms along this side. Okay, we have enough of that. Let's put a little bit of corn. I took a, had a couple of ears of fresh corn that I shucked and blanched in some hot salted water. Slide a little corn right there. One of the things you do when you're making this salad is as you're adding ingredients, you're continuing to tighten it up like that. Okay, let's, uh, let's put some fresh pickled beets right along here. See if we can keep that intact. Slide that onto there. You know, like that. You know. Okay, we got enough there. Okay. Slide that in there, kind of all fanned out a little bit. Okay, let's put a little bit of artichoke cart. I'm going to quarter these. Okay. 
these are nice canned artichoke hearts, which are certainly some of the best ones you're ever going to eat. All right, so we've got a little artichoke heart there. Let's put a little bit of, let's tighten that up a little bit. Let's put a little bit of sliced hard-boiled egg on there. One egg is probably going to do the job for this. It is. And let's put a little bit of red pepper here next to the corn. Fresh red bell pepper strips. put a few little pieces of broccoli over here next to the egg. Looks like that side is filling up a little bit. It's okay. Um, let's put a few garbanzo beans here next to the red pepper. And then, 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 what do we have left here? We have all that on there. We have the, we have bacon, and we have Belgium endive. Let's put a little bit of bacon down here on this end. Let's fill up this hole with bacon. You can't have too much bacon for a salad like this. And we have some anchovies here. Let's put a little pile of anchovies right there next to that bacon. And, 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 let's put a few little spears of Belgium endive in here. Let's, let's put them in here. So this is a placed, arranged salad. That's how it got the name Composition. This is the kind of salad people love to walk up on. Left here. One, two, three, four. I got all that. And I got some Kalamata olives here. Let's put a little pile of Kalamata olives here on the end. Pin it, of course. We don't want anybody breaking their teeth on an olive. What am I missing here now? Let's get that piece of corn out of there. Do I have everything? I have this. I have pepper. olive oil. Definitely want to get some olive oil on those eggs, on those tomatoes. Normally actually you put serve some dressing on the side of this. This isn't the dressing, this is just a little touch-up sort of thing. You have a little bit of chopped parsley here. You could certainly put fresh herbs on there. You could put some chopped dill on your egg. You could put some chopped basil on your tomato. Nice, nice. So there's a nice little family style cosmo cosmopolitan composition <laughs> salad, which is actually a little cosmopolitan, so that was kind of a Freudian slip. Um, there's limit, limitless variations on this and sizes. You can do this on round trays, round plates. I could have done it on something the size of this cutting board or the size of this table, and it would have worked out fine. Of course, you got to be able to move it around to wherever they're going to eat, and that's part of a different salad, which I would call a gigantic salad. So there you have it, one version of a nice family-style composition salad. Enjoy yourself with any dressing you want.